All right, everyone, uh, we're going to get started shortly. <laughs> or maybe now. <laughs> I'm Daniel Moreau. My pronouns are he, him, and I'm a fifth year here at the University of Maine uh, in the Electrical Engineering Technology Program with a minor in Franco-American Studies. As a student at the Franco-American programs, uh, every year I attend something called the Rassemblement. It's a yearly, very formal gathering of Franco-American writers. At the last Rassemblement, after I spoke with uh, the community coordinator for the Franco-American programs, Lisa Deja de Michaud. After we felt that the event felt very established and formal. And then we asked, how do we break down that barrier to entry for Franco Americans just getting into the culture? Then we thought of the Rassemblement, but just for young people, something that would be less academic something less formal, something where we can provide a space to discover who we are, where we can inspire and reinvigorate Franco-America and we, where we can show that Franco-America is still alive. Uh, I don't know many of you, um, especially on Zoom and that's, that's amazing. Um, it's fantastic to see so many fresh new faces. And that shows that, I mean, it is alive, that um, it's not some weird niche that three people are, that three people like, that it's still, you know, active. While talking to Lisa about this idea, I joined a group of Franco-Americans doing projects. We called ourselves La Sociation Le Delit. Let me read the mission statement for that group. Let me take a sip of water first. <laughs> L'Association Fleur de Lille exists to increase collaboration between members of the French Canadian and Acadian diasporas in North America and partners in Quebec and Eastern Canada. This is accomplished through the mutual support and promotion of projects that concern our shared language, culture, and heritage. The association emphasizes innovation and new media to present a non-traditional approach to telling of our common stories and experiences. After some prodding of the group, I, we finally took on the challenge of this young Franco-American summit. We, I ended up with the role as the de facto leader. Uh, this is actually the first event I've ever organized. Uh, <laughs> So expect there to be speed bumps. <laughs> Parking for one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Funny story, we actually uh, scheduled the event before homecoming was scheduled, which is why. <laughs> Do we have take precedence? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Goodness, <laughs> not enough beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think university's not that beer. <laughs> so, um, 
But I, I did not do all of this alone. I've had an amazing subcommittee behind me, and that is Patrick, Dr. Patrick Decroix, Melody Desjardins, and uh, Mike Campbell, who is not here with us right now. So I like to give them a round of applause. So there is water in the back by the door. Uh, on the other side of this wall over there, there's a cured machine, uh, but we also have coffee over there, so we don't have to use a cured machine. Um, we also have bathrooms on this other side of the wall. Um, down that hallway, we have two bathrooms. Uh, I ask that everyone uh, during the presentation silence their phone, or if you're over Zoom, uh, you mute. Um, and we're also trying something new uh, where we're having a hybrid format. So it's, a, it's like a real event, people are here, uh, but we also have Zoom for those who aren't able to attend. So they can still be a part of the uh, summit. Um, for masks, uh, I ask that you wear them at all times. However, when you are speaking or eating, obviously, um, you can put them down or take them off. Um, I also want to ask everyone about photos. So the Franco-American programs would like to do photos. Uh, is there anyone who is opposed to that? Excellent. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome the Pro, uh, community coordinator for the Franco-American programs, Lisa Desjardins Michaud. Oh boy, Daniel, you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Franco-American Center, Saint franco American. I thank you, Daniel for allowing me to be here since I am a tad older than 35. <laughs> uh, I just want to say uh, the last spring, our assemblement was held virtually via Zoom. And I sensed um, and noticed then that the younger people were not as apt to speak and share. Uh, there was a dynamic there of the old and the new. My comparison to this is that of a child sitting at, a, at the kitchen table when the older generation is talking away, uh, but not allowing that child to speak um, and only allowing them to speak when spoken to. Um, so this got me to thinking that perhaps a gathering of, of the younger generation would allow for that space of freedom with no strings, no ceilings. I knew who to ask, for, to get this task done. So I sat down with Daniel when I came to the center and he was on board immediately. And here we are today. A place where each and every one of you can light your own torch with your passions, your research, your ideas, the new. Thank you, Daniel, for all your hard work and thank you to the subcommittee as well. Feel free to check out our holdings. Our library is filled with resources. We have a student lounge upstairs if you uh, want to visit it during your break. And there's food and drink in the foyer there. And I think Daniel explained where everything is or whatever, but feel free to roam around. Just don't get lost because the building is a maze. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day. Thank you, Lisa. Next up, we have the director of the Franco-American programs, Dr. Susan Pinet. Hi, I want to, I'm just here to wish you a great summit and a good day today. And I was thinking on the way over here that your gathering is in the spirit of the center. I mean, the center was founded 50 years ago by young people who were frustrated with older Franco <laughs> inspired by the quiet revolution in Quebec, and kind of made demands coming out of their sense of being young people, and struggling with issues of language and identity and belonging and authenticity. And I feel that this is exactly what you're doing today. And so I'm just here to wish you a great day and have fun 
and to know that if you have projects that emerge out of today, we're happy to support them and help them grow because that's what we're here for. And um, so, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Susan.